All right, Michael Swisher with Squirtle with uh, two of our uh, favorites here. Uh, we've got Carly and Macy Gore of the three-time now, three-time state champion, Sealing Lady Cats. And uh, first of all, ladies, uh, congratulations. Uh, this wasn't an easy one. And, uh, you know, we'll start with you, Macy. Um, you took a couple quarters off yesterday in that double overtime win. Yeah. Um, you know, last couple of years it's been her in the state finals being in foul trouble. Let's talk about yesterday's semifinal win against Okarchi double overtime. How painful was that for you to sit and watch, uh, you know, both overtimes as your team was able to pull it out? How tough was that for you to sit over on the bench? Very tough. Uh, I just tried to be the leader on the side, but it was very tough to watch my team. But I'm proud of them because they fought the whole game and never gave up. And, you know, you guys play with the, the uh, bullseye on your back all, all season long, really, and uh, this state tournament was no exception. You, you get through the first round pretty easy, but, you know, Okarchi really, you know, gave you guys everything you wanted uh, in that double overtime game, and uh, it was you who, who kind of put the team on your back. You had 15 of your 33 points in, in the two overtimes. You know, uh, how, how were you feeling after last night's game after being pushed to the limit like that? Well, I was definitely tired. Uh, my whole body did hurt, but uh, I still felt confident in my team because I knew they could do it and Macy really picked up this today so well let's talk about uh, somebody else who picked it up today and that was uh, Rayleigh Toutfest and you know I, I think they put a lot of focus on on trying to contain you two and that left Rayleigh open and she came through she didn't have her best day yesterday I think that she you know she admitted it herself but you know how was that to see a teammate like that who struggled the first two days come through for you guys in such a big way today uh, I love it she was able to step up and I'm really proud of her she she really stepped up today and did what was needed to be done and, uh, you know, like I said, you've had some foul trouble the last two state championship games. Today, the foul trouble really didn't come until late, but you fouled out with about 40 seconds left. Um, we talked about how, her having a gut-wrenching time yesterday. How tough it was, was it for you to watch those last 40 seconds? It was very tough. I thought I, thought I was going to let my team down by not being out there and doing my job, but they stepped it up, and I'm very, very proud of them. Okay. We talked about uh, three in a row last year. Uh, you can't win three unless you win two in a row. Now you can't win four unless you win three in a row. So uh, when are we going to start talking uh, four gold balls? Is, are we going to start that tomorrow? Are we going to start that right now? Uh, are, are we ready to win four in a row? We're ready, but still have a long ways to work to get there. All right, and uh, she took the easy way out. What are you, you going to guarantee it right now? I want to hear it right now. Um, I'm, not, I'm not guaranteeing it right now because it was difficult this year, So, but I have confidence in us. All right, well, congratulations, ladies. Uh, another exceptional state tournament. We're with the, uh, the Gore Twins, Carly and Macy of the state champion, Sealing Lady Cats.